hello guys welcome back to my beautiful space this is no mad Saka. good morning good afternoon good evening from wherever you're watching us from guys so today we are here in the village the youtube village the african uh silicon valley or the kenyan silicon valley we are here at nyabo hansi and as you can see um today i've just decided to come and chill and you know meditate and talk about a lot of things eh? So as you can see, this is the place, we have running water right here, this, the river is just clean. So most of the time when I'm here, I feel good, this is therapeutic guys, yeah? we're spending time here. I just dropped my shoe, let me pick it up first. You see, ah, oh, where are you going? Don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go. Yeah, so I'll, I'll just have to go to the water. I didn't plan to go to the water, but now... This is the life, enjoying man. Look at this. I can just wash my my legs. Huh? This is amazing. Yeah. Today I must shower here. I must bath have a bath here. Huh? I must wash myself in the river. Eh. The water is chilly man. Yeah, so guys, this is normal sucker. Thank you for supporting your boy. Thank you for always watching me every day, every time that I upload. I really appreciate your effort, guys, and you really showing me love. This is something that some few uh, weeks ago I didn't get, and right now I'm getting it fully. Uh, courtesy of you guys, and you're really supporting me and making sure that this guy uh, is really doing good. So continue supporting your boy, continue supporting Nomad Saka. This is the first time I'm, I'm, I'm doing a video here. Uh, the river. I've been here. I've been doing a video while passing, but now today I want to finish my. I want, I want to start and finish my video here. So enjoy, guys. Today we just wanna talk, me and you. And you know, uh, kindly let me know where you're watching me from because it's always amazing to know that I'm being watched uh, with people all over the world. Eh? So kindly let me know where you're watching me from, and I'd, I'd really appreciate. It. If you want to connect with me, uh, kindly uh, follow me on Instagram at no mad sucker and I'll, I'll be able to communicate with you and it will be just fun let us connect huh? yeah because you are now my youtube family so most of the time when i'm here guys this is what i normally i normally come and sit here just to chill and brainstorm and sometimes i just come here to meditate yeah? spend a lot of time to get alone yeah, with the nature yeah? so as you can see this place looks like this so I'm just alone here, guys. Eh? This is one man army. It's a nomad sucker. Eh? Look at this. The water is flowing. Looks like it's raining, but yeah. So, guys, that's what's up. So, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about my videos. Tell me what you think about my channel, Nomad Saka. And if anything, you want to, if you want to advise me on anything, kindly. Don't hesitate. Tell me in the comments below. I always take a lot of your advice, so I'm always ready for you. I'm always here for. I'm always here to be corrected if I'm wrong, guys. So today I've just decided to come here and chill. You know, most of the time when we are here in the in the village, I find it like this is the place I should be because, like, look at right now. You know, when I, I'm in Nairobi and I have nothing to do, I will just stay indoors. I just stay and watch some movies. But here in the village, when I'm just bored, I come here in a place like this. Then I chill. I remain here. I wait until, you know, I feel good. Then now everything else can follow. So it's always amazing, guys. Me personally, I love this area. And I've been looking forward to get a plot here. The other day I showed you guys the other, the other side of Nyabo. I live alone in Nyabo. That place is known as Nyabo Sensei. I was there and the land there was very cheap, eh? Not very cheap, it was affordable compared to this other side because those guys were selling uh, land for let's say it was 700,000, that's like uh, 550,000, uh, 5,500 uh, US dollars. And uh, yes, like my target right now is just to you know get a, a parcel of land. Yeah, I just have some small setbacks, but I know. When the right time comes, yeah, I'll be part of the, this greatness and I'll also bring my family down here 
so that they can also enjoy the, the village life, eh? the nature and everything. Eh? Like you can imagine just Jaden playing. You can imagine Jaden playing in these waters. Eh? Look at that. Eh? That's amazing, guys. It's always good because most of the time in the city uh, where they play is always limited because you know a lot of houses and every, like every everywhere is occupied. And like the village here, eh? they can be able to be creative in all the on in their own ways. Eh? So that's why I want to come here and settle. So today, guys, uh, I just want to talk about uh, my progress so far and uh, what I've achieved in this long, long, long search. Eh? So I've noticed uh, we have two parts that I'm interested with. You see where uh, Burundian Traveller and uh, the Anakemi are located. They are lo located in one area not far from each other. Yeah, that area and the other area ne opposite uh, Nyabohanze or opposite Marwas Villa, next to side uh, when you cross the river. When you go uh, up there, they have affordable uh, plots or uh, they are selling at a good price compared to Nyabohanze itself. Because you know now Nyabohanze, they are asking for a lot of money. A small space, a small plot, they last you for 1.5 million which is even absurd, you know. But since it's their property, we have no say. So most of the time, uh, people, with, uh, people with money will afford it. But now, a person like me, guys, uh, for now I can't. I, I'm not saying that I'm poor, but uh, at the moment I can't. Maybe one day if my finances are, are on check. Eh? But yeah, as you can see, we are here enjoying. I'm supposed to be going back home. I miss my family also. I need to go and see them. Yeah, so I've, I, I did some research and uh, I think that uh, I think that the other side is better for me. Either uh, Burundian side or this other side. Uh, opposite uh, Nyabohans. That's a place that I can get. A, those two places I can be able to get land there. They are not so hyped as Nyabohans at the moment. So I'll, I'll go to I'll go to Marwa's, uh, I mean I'll go to uh, Burundian Traveler's place and search. Then if I am not lucky, I can cross over to the other side. Yeah, but uh, one place I know I'll get big parcel of land is opposite Nyabohans because I see they have a lot. Uh, the lands are you know massive. Yeah, when you go uh, compared to compared to the other side where Burundian and the Anakemi uh, are living. It is not that big, uh, but on this other side, it's amazing. So I'll th I, th I think I'll just go with it. I'll just go with it. I'll just go with the, the, uh, this other side because yeah, I need something big because I was thinking of doing agriculture. That is uh, uh, poultry farming and uh, also uh, dairy farming. But I want to focus more on poultry and dairy, and also I want to farm some goats, some this. Uh, uh, this goat from South Africa, the boa goats. I don't know if you know the boa goats. So, yes, uh, and I was being told if I can get 10 goats to start with, within two years I'll be having 200 goats, eh? if I uh, did it right. So, I think that's what I, I like. I just want to do a smart farming, something that I can be able to control, something that I can be able to run without any issues. So, it will be amazing just doing it because you know this is what i want to do 100 percent i'm down for it i better get a shilling or uh, two dollars but i have peace eh? i can be able to you know cater for my family and have them around me that's what matters a lot and that's what i'm giving the priority if if i can be able to do that guys uh, man i don't need to go anywhere i'll just be here enjoy my my time with the family you know have fun so that's what I'm looking forward to, guys. And trust me, it's going to be big. Eh? It's going to be big. So uh, you can see some fish here. I don't know if they are fish or what. See. They are even. Let me see if you'll see them. I love to reduce the light. Let me reduce some light. Yeah. See those? Those ones. I don't know what are they. Are they? Tell me down below, guys. Tell me, tell me, tell me. This is the village life. Eh? I can scream, I can talk to myself. Ah, 
<laughs> oh. Look at this guys, look at that. Huh? I'm just in the middle of the river, like I'm just here. You see the trees? We have them all surrounding the river. Huh? No one is here. The only sound you can hear is the water sound. Uh, this is amazing guys. So it's always good being in, in a place like this, enjoying. Eh? And today I've just decided to come here and sit and talk to you guys because it is just amazing, amazing. When I'm here, I feel good. I feel like this is the place that I should be, man. Eh? I enjoy my, my stay here in the village. So though I'm not hundred percent, like my mind is not here hundred percent because you know my family is not here. Sorry. But when they are here, my friend, hey, it will be another thing. I'll always be enjoying my stay. I'll even show you some few things. Eh? It's about time. By ne but next week, from maybe starting tomorrow, I can arrange to go back to Nairobi. Then I can be back the other week. Eh? So it's about uh, connection, connection, connection. I go back, I come, I go back, I come. Until now, I get what I want. I'm still raising some money, so guys, continue supporting me. Maybe I can get some few money to add on top. Yeah, supporting uh, by supporting, I mean you can you watch my videos and uh, make sure you don't skip the ads and uh, always make sure you subscribe if you're watching my content. That's the only way you can support me. And I really ask you guys support me. Me, I'm not asking for money. I'm not asking for donation. I'm just asking for your views. Eh? Continue watching me, continue sharing my, my, my videos with your friends and I'll, I'll reach there. I believe in, I believe in the process. Eh? So uh, the process is always good and I trust me. One thing with me, when I, when I focus on something, I must achieve it. Guys, you'll keep this video as a reminder. When for me, I focus on something, I must achieve it and it will happen. It will come to pass. So uh, you just continue supporting your boy, Mr. Nomad Saka and everything will go as planned. Trust me, it will never fail. I'm always positive about everything. So never worry about me, never worry about Nomad Saka. This is something that I'll assure you that it will come to pass. I'll build a house here and I'll bring my family with the, with the help of God. Eh? So I believe and I have faith. So it's a matter of time. So continue supporting your boy, show me, show me love. Let's work together, just subscribe. Yeah, so I'm, that's what I'm asking you guys. Only that. So support your boy and I, I won't disappoint you. I'll, I'll always be there. I'll always show you some new content every day. So continue supporting Nomad Saka, big man. Mm -hmm. And everything will be awesome. So as you can see, this is, uh, I'm, I'm chilling here. And we have like some plants. I don't know what these plants are. But we have plants. Yeah. Yeah, these plants will... Uh, Helps with uh, you know a good shed. It helps with good shed. Uh, so when you come, you can just chill without any problems. You can just mingle with the <laughs> with nature. <laughs> yeah. So the other day, I went to the chemist place, and I was so insp inspired the way she fenced the place. The place looks big, though. Yeah, it looks big. Before it was not looking like that, but after after fencing and 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 putting those. Uh, tree stumps it's looking big and uh, maybe that's what I'm getting to yeah? so maybe one day guys you'll see me clearing a land yeah? that will be I don't know what will I'll, I don't know it, what I'll do when I get a land here I'll scream my voice out this is, it will be like a dream come true for the longest you know I've been dreaming for this I don't know for how many years and uh the thing that uh, didn't uh, allow me to do this is the is what I, was, I used to do in Nairobi. Like you know, you, uh, we are living from hand to mouth. Even if saving, we are saving a little. And sometimes when we have emergency, we tend to use all the amounts that we've been saving. So it's always back and forth, back and forth. But now uh, I didn't have plans before. Like you know, when you don't have plans, like the plans of relocating to the village, I had different plans. But right, right now I still I feel like they, I don't need them anymore. So I just have to divide my attention to other meaningful things, eh? some meaningful ideas, and uh, you know everything else will work. So I just wanted to focus on the best and think of something different. Think of something that will give me uh, a vibe, eh? 
So let me just uh, focus on it now, the land issue. Me, the only problem I, right, I have right now, guys, is the land issue. Trust me, if I can get land here today, here in the village, not even in Nyabuhanzi, near the village, around the village, trust me, guys, it will be, it will be something amazing. I'll enjoy it. Ah, that, could, that will be my best thing, the best thing that has ever happened to me so far. Yeah. Man. Just looking forward to it. So, uh, guys, uh, today, I just wanted to catch up with you guys. You know, I've been here for like, I don't know, three weeks. I've been here for like three weeks now. And for the three weeks that I've been here, uh, I think it's, right, it's, uh, it's time to go back to Nairobi a little bit, then I come back. And also when I come back, I'll have to, you know, be more advanced in the way I do things. I'll have to, because I didn't carry my, my camera, so I'll come with my camera, I'll be able to shoot without any issues. It will just be fun. I've missed home, I've missed my family. I hope they'll be happy to see me. So, continue supporting your boy. I'll go introduce my family to you guys, for those who don't know them. And it's just going to be amazing. You'll meet my boy, my youngest son, the only son at the moment. I don't know if there'll be any. Yeah? My wife is expecting another one. Yeah? Uh, they have scanned, they know the gender, but I told them I don't wanna, I don't wanna know the gender. So uh, I'm just waiting for the surprise. I want it to be a surprise. Yeah? So for them, they know the surprise. They're even forcing me to know the gender, and I'm like, chill. Yeah, I just want it to be a surprise so that I can, I, I, I can just feel good, you know. And uh, unfortunately, I'm, according to my plans, uh, uh, the, the kid that I'm expecting uh, will be my last one. I don't think I need any other kid. I only need two kids. Eh? I only need two kids. Tell me if I should add more. But for me, I think I only need two kids. I, I feel comfortable with two kids at the moment. So for now, I'll try and manage two kids because I want to give them the best. You know, mostly in Africa, uh, when you give out, uh, when you, we don't have plants, in ex ex especially with the kids that we, we, gi we give birth to. So my, uh, most of the time you just go because you have the chance and the time. You get a lot of kids, but in the long run they start struggling. Uh, they, don't, they don't get everything that, that they are supposed to get, the basic needs. So for me at the moment I think that I can manage two kids, maybe in future when I'm well off. I can be able to add more, but for now, I'm settling with two. Mm -hmm. So, tell me what you think. Is it good to plan like that, or it's always the way the African people say? You you give birth, then uh, we will see what happens. Eh? Tell me if it's a good idea, or you should just plan your life and make sure that you enjoy your life. Because for me, you know, we were raised, for us, we were like eight siblings, eh? six brothers, two sisters. And my dad was not even, uh, didn't have time for us. I said, with my two last born sisters, my, fa my dad always has their time, like, you know, tender love and, and care. He, he's always there for them. But for us, it was a different thing. He used to come home. You know, he don't want to joke. He don't want to smile with everyone. It was just serious, no nonsense. And that's what I'm trying to avoid, you know. I just want to uh, have a family that I can understand them. Because I can remember while growing up, I could, I could confide into some strangers, but not my dad, because we were not that close. Yes, he was my biological dad, but we were not that close. I could not trust her with my personal issues. I better go to somebody, maybe a neighbor or something. And this thing is happening here in Africa. We get kids, but we don't have time for them. We don't have time to think of what they want or what they have. Sometimes they even... Uh, choose for you what to do in terms of a career and they're like you go and be an engineer even if that's not what you want so it's always crazy man it's always crazy so tell me down below is it good to get kids that you cannot uh, manage the community will help you uh, <laughs> manage your kids or it's good to have people that you can be able to uh, you see uh, be there for them uh, spend time with them you know know them better because my dad, when we went to, when I joined the high school from one here in Africa, uh, he never came to my school. He never. My mom was the one who took me there, even the visiting days. 
He never showed up. He was busy looking for money. So why is this money so important that it can uh, take love from all the people you love? Yeah, because you know, your dad should be a role model. Your dad should be who you want to be. But me, I don't want to be a dad who uh, my kids are afraid of. Eh? I, I, I want to be a, a fun dad. Eh? A dad who can communicate with the kids, talk with the kids, engage in some uh, personal discussions. You know, it's always good to have kids that can confide in you. And uh, they can be able to, you know, you want the best for them, of course. So they can be able to tell you things that you can, you are the only person who can advise them accordingly. So, but when they go out there, they'll find people who can might, mis who might mislead them, who might show them wrong ways. But if it's you and you are controlling what they want, and they co can tell you everything that they, they are going through, it will be easier for, it will be easier for them to do what? It, I mean, it will be easier for you to make the right decision for them. So tell me, guys, what do you think? What do you think about all this? What do you think about the whole idea? Is it something that can work or I'm just dreaming? But for me, I think it can work because in this life, it's all about, it's all about, it's all about me and who I want to bring here. Because at the end of the day, when I bring 10 kids in this, I mean, in this world and I cannot take care of them, Meaning that I'll start, I'll, I'll start neglecting them. I'll start running away from home because I can't bear seeing them going uh, to bed empty stomach or everything. But if I have two kids that I can control, I can make sure that they get good shelter, food and everything and good education. Uh, that one can be a, a different thing. Yeah? I can be there for them. We can be talking as, as family. We can be close. Every weekend I can be taking them in, uh, for adventure, you know. It is something that you just create. Eh? You, you become happy just by doing what you think you can do or what you think is, is, is right. And for me, uh, two is, is enough. According to what I saw with my, my dad, I don't want it to happen to me again with my kids. Eh? So I'm always sticking to one thing. Focus, focus, focus on what you can manage. Yeah, in this life, you, you just have to bite uh, what you can chew. Don't bite something that you won't chew, that will choke you. It will be another problem. So make sure you don't bite something big, big that you cannot chew. So for me, I'd rather stay with two kids that I can manage. I don't know your opinion. Tell me down below. What do you think about these kids' issues? Eh? Eh, can you get like 10 kids that you don't even know how you'll educate them? Is it fair for them? Because you, you, you are now ruining their lives by putting them in danger, making them... Uh, feel vulnerable. I feel like you should be there for them, make them understand who they are, be there, always uh, advise them when they need uh, any advice from you, then your life will be more easier. Eh? But now when you uh, when you focus on just g getting a lot of kids but you, you cannot take good care of them, you'll end up being a beggar who don't even know what their kids want. You'll always be there to, trying to be a commanding dad. You know, most of us African dads, they are so commanding. Reason being, they, they don't understand their kids better. So they always, they think that the, the only way to uh, communicate with their kids is through commands and being harsh. A lot of dads, yeah, a lot of dads. Yeah, we are in an era whereby you, you just have to make them understand. Eh? I'm, I'm not saying that you should not punish them. For, we punish them, but now you punish them in something that they'll understand. Like, They'll understand their punishment. It's not that you beat them thoroughly. They'll just be like, hey, my dad is always violent on us. No. When punishing them, you tell them, I'm punishing you because of this and this and this. Because we are still following the ways of the Bible. We still have to punish our kids. If we don't punish them, then the world will punish them. And the, the world is cruel. Always you see what happens. So it's always crazy. Guys, this is Nomad Saka. Kindly join the team and subscribe. If you have already subscribed, kindly give the video a thumbs up, give it a like like this, and then we continue the discussion. Today, I'll be on my premiere. I promise, I'll, I must be on my premiere. I'll, I'll wake up at whatever time you guys want me to be there. By, I normally premiere by 4 a.m., so I'll be awake. So I know for those who are watching right now, I'm here with you. So uh, let's continue this. I, this is my first premiere that I'll, I'll be available. You know, at that time, I'm always asleep. So today I'll sleep early and then I'll put a, an alarm so it will wake me up at around that time. 
then I'll join the premier so that you can chat and discuss. I've realized I'm missing a lot. I want to connect with you guys. So let's connect and build a, a, a strong connection. And I believe in you guys. Continue uh, supporting me. Continue showing me love. And I will never, never disappoint you. Yeah. So guys, this is the river right here, as you can see. Mm -hmm. The river between. This is the river between. Mm -hmm. So this side is Nyabohanse, and the other side is called Nyabosense. Nyabo, Nyabosense. Eh, the names, the Nyabos. Eh? So let me step here. This place looks muddy. Ah, let me go. I won't sink. I almost sank, man. So let me try and wash my my legs here. I want to wash my legs. Eh? So I want to start going up. Today I also woke up late, but I slept early. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> the African vibe. So this is the river, guys. Let me show you the difference. You see, the river is right there. Then now I'm not in Yabohanse anymore. This is the other part. Let me go up, 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 up. Ooh. I feel like, yes, this is it. See the forest right there? That's what I really love to, I really love to have, eh? The forest. Yeah. And that's, uh, that land over there, that was for the Jamaican grandma, the one who passed away recently. Yeah, so I don't know what will, uh, I don't know what they'll do with the land. <laughs> but all, all in all, it has happened, so let's focus on uh, today's video so you can see hey there's this hey, this timber these are uh, blue gum trees massive next to the river mm -hmm. but for me i don't like these trees eh? you know they're not indigenous these are not indigenous trees so i don't recommend them most of the time they're not indigenous they are used for, they just plant them to harvest the, the timber. But what I love is this kind of trees. You see this one? See this? This is indigenous. This one has been here. You see, you even see the leaves. This is amazing. This is something that I, I, I can go for. Eh? And it is just next to the river. So it's getting its water straight. And that's why it's this healthy. You see? So, so healthy. Yeah. So healthy. Huh? That's healthy, guys. Look at that. From the river to the tree. Uh, the blackjacks are here again, you see. Let me show you guys. Let me remove them. The blackjacks are trying to stick on me. Hmm? These are things that when you are here most of the time you'll be shocked yeah so as you can see your boy mr nomad saka big man going i want to cross the other side i want to cross from here i go to the other side i'm a ignorant place now now i'm going let's see the process you know i decided to start my video here oh! So every time you pass here and you feel like your leg is dirty or your legs are dirty, you make sure you wash them like this. Let me show you. This is the survival for the fittest. Yeah? So when you come and you're like, ah, my legs are dirty, do like this. Oh. Then now you do it to the other shoe, to both of them, so that you can look smart. Eh? Then you go up. This place is steep, so I need something to hold on, maybe something like this, for me to go up. Oh. And here we go, guys. So, we are now entering Mayugno's place. This is, we are down here. Hey, today, today has been today, guys. Wow. The village experience. 
So tell me what you think, guys. Tell me what you think about the life, the village life. If I should stay here. I know some of you have told me already. You should find a land as soon as possible. Yes, land is there. The only thing that now I'm looking forward to, you know, get 100% is the finance. I have like maybe 20%. Yeah, so I know God will come through and I believe in the process. So, yeah, that's uh, the grandma's land, the Jamaican grandma. So big, yeah. It even has some plants on it. Yeah, yeah so we are just walking inside the forest, forestry, forestry manenos. Yeah, so let's so go. We're still in the forest, going home, yeah? Big man nomad Saka, Wolan. Yeah. So, let's go, man. So clean now. From the river to, from the river, now going back home, eh? Now going back home. This is what it is. As you can see from here, that's my Yugnos place. You see how good it is. It's looking big. The vi it's, it's look, it looks like a village on its own. Eh? You see Villa Rindima, Mama Grace, then the store. And now she, he'll come and, you know, fence the whole place. There's a farm here. Look at that. Hey, this is big guys, if I can be, manage to get something like this. Yeah. This is big. But let me not admire. I admire too much. <laughs> like, right now I'm just obsessed with land guys. I'm so obsessed with land. I'm so obsessed. I'm so obsessed with land. Huh? I'm so obsessed with land, but I know when I get it, the feeling will go away. So let me just uh, focus on hard work. Then you never know about tomorrow. Tomorrow is another day. As the sun is shining, I don't know how the song goes. Tomorrow is another day. As the time is ticking away. Time is so precious, and so I see. Wake up and see the rising sun. I know I'm not sure. I'm just guessing. I, my brother used to listen a lot to those kind of music. Yeah, well, that was the vibe. Eh? We used to have a good vibe every day, every time. So as you can see, we are here at. Uh, Villa Rindima, very soon the project will be starting. The, place, the, the, the project looks good. Maybe after it's done, you'll see the seriousness. Eh? You'll see how serious this looks like. This is not a joke. Eh? And we have the whole squad right here, the committee. Eh? It's like they are now having fun. Eh? We have Mr. Ebole. And other people, oh, the yes. secret agenda. Yes. Okay, say, say hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> yeah, so, guys, uh, they have a small meeting over there, so I didn't want to disturb them. So, you see, we are here. And uh, it's just amazing being here. So, my day has been uh, positive today. So, I just want to, you know, chill. And enjoy everything, guys. So continue supporting your boy, Mr. Nomad Saka. This is amazing. We've reached here. I don't want to do a long video today. So continue supporting your boy. This is Nomad Saka, aka Nomad Sadiko. Big man in the village, urban, turned uh, rural. Eh? So continue supporting your boy, guys. Make sure you give the video a like, a thumbs up. And as you can see, the sky is the limit. The sky is the limit, so we are going beyond the, the we are going beyond the sky, the cloud, and everything. The sky is the limit, and uh, everything else will be awesome, guys. Thank you for watching. 
thank you for always being there, Team Rindima to the fullest, Team Rindima to the world. I'm so, so happy to be here with you guys. And I can't just wait to see you again tomorrow. Until next time, peace.